What's up guys? How are you all doing? I hope you are finding my tutorials useful. So today I am here to start a new tutorial series on API gateway authorization. So earlier I thought to do the API gateway authorization tutorial under the Amazon API gateway tutorial series, but I see there is quite more to cover and to keep things simple, I have considered doing it as a separate series. So before moving further, I want to request you that if you have still not subscribed to my channel, then please, please hit the right subscribe button below. So moving along, I'm going to start part one of this tutorial series with the creation of the Lambda function, API gateway and user pool. This is going to be very simple and straightforward tutorial. And as you know that I have covered the API gateway creation and its overview in part one video tutorial of Amazon API gateway tutorial series. So I will kind of not go much in depth in terms of creation of Lambda function and API gateway and creation of user pool is quite straightforward since we are not going to configure anything while creating a user pool. So let's get started. Assuming that you already have logged in into AWS management console and once you are there navigate to Lambda management console. Now, once you are within Lambda management console, click on create function. So this function we are going to bind with the API gateway method, right? So give it a function name. I will say API auth select runtime as Python 3.8 as new version is available, but you can also select Python 3.6, 3.7, 2.7, right? So let's select the latest version within permission. I'm going to use the existing role that I have created in the previous tutorial series for Amazon API gateway tutorial. So that is Lambda API gateway role and say create function. So the Lambda function has been created successfully. So maybe uh, in place of hello from Lambda, I will say API invoked and I will save this function. Apart from that, we are not going to modify this Lambda function. Now, once the Lambda function has been created, navigate to API gateway. Now we have the new user interface with an API gateway. As you can see, this is different from uh, what we saw in the previous tutorial series. So once you are here, click on create API and give the API name. I will say API auth. I will leave description as blank and point type as original and say create API. Now, once the API is created, uh, we are going to click on resources from the left panel under our API that is API auth. Then click on actions, say create resource, give the resource name. I will say post JSON maybe, right? And say create resource. And once the resource has been created, select that resource, click on actions, say create method. Here I'm going to create the post method. And once you select the method, click on this tick mark. 
and here it's asking us to bind the lambda function or whatever endpoint or the integration you want. So here I'm going to select lambda function and within lambda function, I'm going to select the lambda function that we have just created. That is API auth and say save. Add permission to lambda function. Yes. So click on OK. So right now uh, we are not deploying this API. We will deploy the API uh, maybe in the upcoming tutorials, right? So here uh, we have successfully created the uh, API gateway. Now coming to the third part that is Cognito. Now here uh, we are going to create the user pool. So once you are within Amazon Cognito, click on manage user pools. Now within user pools, you need to click on create a user pool from the top right corner. And here you need to give the pool name. I will say API auth and you can go through all the steps by selecting this option that is step through settings, but I'm going to select review defaults and I'm going to leave it everything as it is and say create pool, right? So here the user pool has been created, right? Now we are going to uh, configure certain option within this user pool, but not right now. Uh, we will do it in the upcoming tutorial, right? So this is all for this tutorial. But before I close, I want to take you through the API gateway. So come back to Amazon API gateway and click on authorizers from the left panel, right? So while we click on create new authorizer over here, it gives us two option within type that is Lambda and Cognito, right? So you can use two techniques to authorize your API calls that is via Lambda function or via Cognito. So here uh, we are opting out for Cognito and not for the Lambda function, right? So that's the reason uh, we have created the user pool and we are going to configure it in the upcoming tutorials, right? So well, uh, that's it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I will cover the creation of a user, right? So when I say user, we are going to create a user within this user pool that we have just created, right? So from here, then apart from user, we are going to create a domain name, right? That is again within the user pools and finally the resource server within the user pool, right? So that is something uh, I will take you through in the next tutorial, right? So well, uh, that's it for now. Last but not least, please don't forget to subscribe and also click on the bell icon to stay up to date with the series. Thank you so much.